Okay, let's talk about why did Amazon stock drop so dramatically last week when it had their earnings call and what happened to Apple? So Apple did just amazing in their earnings call. Of course, they had a little bit downfall when it came to their iPhone um, revenue, but everything else was just amazing. So revenue uh, was 90.15 billion versus 88.9 billion estimated. So it's up 8.1% year over year. iPhone revenue was 42.63 billion versus 43.21 billion as expected. The Mac revenue was 11.51 billion versus 9.36 billion expected. So it's up 25.39% year over year. So iPad revenue 7.17 billion versus 7.94 billion. So that's down a little bit. And then um, other products and services 9.65 billion versus 9.17 billion. So it's up 9.85% year over year. Cross margins 42.3 billion versus 42.1 uh, billion as estimated. Um, <clears throat> so Apple fell a little bit because of the iPhone revenue, but um, it recovered again. So Amazon fell like 18% right after the earnings call. And at one point it was down 20% and then I kind of recovered 10% from there. It's a, it was a little bit down earlier today too. So I haven't looked at my uh, stocks yet, but it was a little bit um, down earlier. So revenue was 127.10 billion versus 127.46 billion as estimated. So a little bit down. Web services, 20.5 billion versus 21.1 billion expected. Advertising, 9.55 billion versus 9.48 billion as expected. So that was a little bit better. So, um, so why did that happen? Well, it's easy because we're expecting a, a recession with the upcoming recession. Everybody knows it's going to happen. It happens every whatever, 10 years. Um, people spend less money. They spend less money. Um, uh, Amazon, I was expecting him to do a little bit better just because they had two prime days this year, not just one, but um, I didn't really help that much. Um, <clears throat> of course, um, people are holding on to their cash right now. They don't want to spend. Interest rates are going up. The Federal Reserve is keeps in, uh, increasing interest rates, which means your credit card interest is going higher. You know, that just trickles down to us. And um, so, of course, there's less spending. If you look at um, stocks like uh, Facebook and uh, or Meta and Google or Alphabet, uh, they're down as well. And that's because um, their, their revenue depends on advertisers. That's how they make money. And when people don't spend, there's going to be less advertising. So, you know, their advertisers are not investing as much money. The people don't spend on product and services as much. So, you know, it's just slowly coming down, slowing down the economy. That's kind of the plan uh, of the Federal Reserve. They have to normalize that inflation that we're having. So. Um, I think, I believe that, and that's just my personal opinion, I believe these stocks are still amazing stocks. Facebook, uh, Meta, uh, Google Alphabet, Amazon, of course Apple, <laughs> Microsoft, all of these are excellent stocks. So um, eventually they will recover, in my opinion, but it'll take a while. So if you're buying these stocks right now, if I'm buying some of these stocks right now, that just means I, I know that I have to hold on to them for at least three to five years, you know, maybe longer. So we don't know how intense this recession is going to be and we don't know how long it's going to take. Um, you know, it can be a year, it could be two years. We don't know. Uh, Chamath Palihapitiya says 18 months and I hear that a lot from other investors. And so um, we'll just have to wait it out. Right now it's a buying opportunity. Uh, just make sure you have somewhere an emergency account just in case. And, um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe and you like this video and I'll talk to you soon. This is Claudia. Goodbye.